Father's Day is coming up in June. Oh, my old man. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. So what do you appreciate most about your dad? I honestly, like, he's one of the hardest working people. So he came here for, like, chasing like, the American dream. And I think that's, and he's worked very hard to cu cultivate and cut out, uh, cut out a life for him here. And that's something I really respect and recognize. What do you appreciate most about your dad? Uh, oh gosh, I love my dad so much. Uh, I appreciate that he's, uh, my dad is very even keeled and uh, very laid back, which uh, I, I really, I appreciate a lot. And he's like, he also has a very good sense of humor, uh, which is something that I like to say that I've inherited. <laughs> you definitely have. Yeah. Um, what do I appreciate most about my dad? Um, you know, he always just worked really hard so that we could have a good life. Um, he worked on the weekends and he worked overtime and he just, he really contributed a lot of time so that, that my family could, could do the things that we, we wanted to do. And sometimes he would miss events like baseball games or um, my sister's cheerleading events, but he just always worked so hard that we could have a comfortable life and he could support us. Um, he definitely taught me a work ethic. Um, he stayed at the same job for like 40 years and then, but just the fact that like, he would go like to work 12 hour shifts at his job and then like come to like my baseball games or something. Just always went above and beyond for his family. So respect the crap out of that. Is there one takeaway you learned from your dad? Probably to um, be a little bit more uh, understanding and <laughs> around kids now, I. I you know, when kids are rambunctious, I think I, I look back at how my dad handled things and I was, I was laughing because it's almost like payback for when I was at that, that age, so. I think a takeaway that I've learned uh, from my dad is just how to be a patient listener. What's one takeaway that you learned from your dad? Um, thick skin, I think. Uh, very thick skin. My, my dad, he grew up, uh, I, I, I guess, surrounded by a lot of like racism and stigmas. And so that, and so with that he's developed like a thicker skin and let things roll off the shoulder. I think that's a good thing I've taken away from him. What's one takeaway uh, that you learned from your dad? Um, I'd probably say kindness. Uh, my dad's probably probably one of the nicest guys I know, um, and it's just it's just something that I try to emulate because you know I, I see how he treats people and my mom and the rest of my family, and that, that that's something that I want to take away and I want to try and do my best job of of emulating. Um, how do you celebrate Father's Day? Uh, typically we do, uh, we do like, you know, presents, cards, uh, normally we try to, uh, get my dad to pick a restaurant to go to. How do you celebrate Father's Day? Um, how do I celebrate Father's Day? I usually, I just call my dad and he's usually, he, he wants to talk for as long as he possibly can, um, and just, you know, wish him a happy Father's Day and then usually we talk about some stuff that, Either he knows how to fix in my house that's not working currently, or um, something like my car not working and stuff like that. So that's. How do you celebrate Father's Day? Uh, so for my, my dad likes to lift up a little louder. So, so so we try to hold like an event or a party for him like sometime after or before. We'll invite people over. We'll kind of make it more about him. I remember one time we even like rented a mariachi band for him because that's his favorite type of music. And uh, me and my mom usually like try to chip in. We'll like go like a half and half on trying to get him like a nice watch because he likes watches. How do you celebrate Father's Day? Um, usually go see my dad or my parents, I guess. Um, and he's usually not the best person to buy gifts for because he's very stingy still with money. So we usually just like make dip or something. We have like a family dip that's like the stupidest thing ever. It's only three ingredients, but we make it every like time we hang out. What's it? It's just cream cheese, onions, and a little bit of milk. And we uh, call it doorband dip. It's real creative. <laughs> Sometimes we uh, throw uh, uh, like chives or something on top just to, like make it look fancy, but <laughs> it's never for taste. It's just look nice.